word leg properly. Did I say it right then, just then? Leg. I think I finally say it right Yeah, now. one time. This took many, 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 many years to say that word. So they would just change, they've changed, you've changed words. But Chris has directed me and just said, never mind. We'll say this instead. Yeah, we'll make it out of barbecue. <laughs> yeah, I'll definitely, I mean, yeah, it's true, you used to say, or you may still say it, but L-E-G, leg, became leg, leg, very often, and that was, but I think she's overcome that today at this very panel. Give her a round of applause, everybody! <laughs> Like on a sentence, and so my takes will go too long because I want to hold on to the last word. <laughs> <laughs> hold on, hold on, one more day. Uh, yes, it is <laughs> in a nutshell. Yes. So, um, since there's villains and there's one who's not a villain, are you saying that? <laughs> no, 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 no. The only way I can really ask this question. So, uh, villains, you kind of have to go over the top. So that mean people who aren't villains kind of have to restrain their voices, or? I usually am the bipolar mom that's one minute, uh, hysterical. I'm usually the character actress that's over the top, to be honest, whether it's a villain. Whether it's my many villains that Whitney got, or the crazy mom. So I don't know. Um, a lot of my characters are over the top, and that's fun to play. Because I noticed that with, uh, like, like say Edward or other characters, they, they don't sometimes they go really angry like Edward goes with his rants, but then other times he's really restrained and just super serious. Yeah. What? <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna have to project some. <laughs> you just gave me the secret code. It's up down, up down. Uh, <laughs> actually, um, the question was well, I know for me, yeah, a lot of villains at least that I've played, have been over the top, and that's great. I love uh, being over the top stuff, and it kind of being a villain affords you that luxury, because uh, a protagonist or the hero very often has to, has to be, I mean, this is all stereotypes, it has to be that plucky, young, earnest, we can do it, gang, and uh, that's no fun. So I think, yeah, I like the ability or the option to go over the top where normally you don't. So a villain is that one chance to really play around with that, so I, I think it's fun. So, um, yes? Oh, I was wondering if y'all ever end up using your villain voices in real life. Like something ends up escaping into... All the time! I get to hear Envy all the time! All the time! It works really great in a middle school classroom. Um, I teach 6th through 8th grade, and Envy shows up every day around 7th period. That's the day one show. Envy comes out. Are you a boy or a girl? Oh, Shut up. I'm your teacher. <laughs> Sit down and I'm not saying it to hear my head rattle. <laughs> Sad. Yeah, it becomes out a lot of people. Uh, no. <laughs> Although maybe I should do that when I get a telemarketer. My that would be the best time to do something. My husband actually asked me last a couple nights ago, I had rehearsal. We're rehearsing for Alice in Wonderland, and I guess I had answered the phone during rehearsal, and he said, have you yelled at enough kids today, or are you gonna need to yell again tomorrow? <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I'm like, I think I'm gonna need to do it again tomorrow. He's like, okay. Did you get it out of your system? It not just, yet. <laughs> you talked about screen therapy before. Does it secretly or not so secretly feel good to yell at the kids? Yeah. It feels great, YouTube. <laughs> Absolutely great. I know there are budget cuts in Texas right now. Please keep me on board to yell at your children, Texas. Please. By the way, while you've been here, I've, I've contracted gestational diabetes. <laughs> <laughs> we got a time two up here. So, so to recap, I've been a great teacher. So to recap, so to recap, this model says that. <laughs> Baby.
Give me flashes. <laughs> uh, we've just entered a really dark area. <laughs> Who's gonna get us out of it? Somebody with a hand up, I assume, yes. There's one. Oh my god. <laughs> I hope I still have a job when I get home. Yes. <laughs> Sorry I asked that question, yes. <laughs> Like eating sound effects? Yes, we have to do that. How do I cope with that? <laughs> <laughs> like it's a, like, a, it's a, it's a, like an affliction that must be dealt with. Like diabetes uh, type 2. <laughs> I'm begging you guys not to put this on YouTube. <laughs> I'm really getting scared. I'm having a Braxton Hicks. A lot of the time you're eating human, so you like think about that when you're nom-nomming? <laughs> no. No, it's, uh, do I think about eating humans when I'm making eating sound effects? Well, <laughs> Uh, well, it's usually any excuse. Actually, we sometimes do put food in our mouths to sound like it's a mouthful. But, you know, for me, it's just any excuse to put those awesome donuts in, this, in the hatch. Uh, is it really about eating humans donuts? in my mind? No, yes. Donuts There's a, make the best human sound effects? You know, <laughs> some of the, actually, it's Dunkin' Sticks. Uh, those Dunkin' donuts, Sticks. I do love those. But yeah, the vending machine Funimation, first of all, 25% soda is fantastic. But then the vending machine have a lot of pastries and... Uh, I, I've explored them all doing sessions, but um, but yeah, we do a lot of. Actually, that's my favorite thing as a director. I've really eaten in the booth. Oh yeah, I mean that's my favorite thing as a director. I love, and I've said it before, when an anime character eats, that is my favorite thing in the world. I love, I love this. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Remember that one thing that he directed where I had to eat soup? Yeah. And I was like, I had to slurp up the noodles and eat soup, yeah. but we just, we had so much fun with the slurping of the noodles. Because he was real gross. This is old days, so he would go, oh, even nastier, I'd be like, <laughs> we had a lot of fun. Oh, please don't put this on YouTube. <laughs> yeah. She is a grown woman, everyone. Uh, <laughs> always had a lollipop in her mouth, so I literally had to do all my lines with my finger in my mouth. And I'd get in trouble for not. Like, do you have your finger in your mouth on that one? No. <laughs> that was, is that Bevins? No. <laughs> Could have been. As he said in the previous panel, he's a real taskmaster. Uh, yes? How do you give your voices when you do characters that have cats or dogs barks or things like that? Uh, I think we're just all natural, uh, Mimics. I know that when I was a little kid watching TV, we used to do sound effects all the time. Sometimes even turning down the volume and, and just doing the sound effects ourselves. And I was talking about the fact that, you know, uh, has anyone seen the movie Police Academy? Yeah. Okay, you know, you know the guy Michael Winslow yeah. who makes all the sound effects? He still tours and the places sell out. And what he does for, I think, his grand finale, or at least he used to do it, is he would uh, go to the uh, he go to the original Star Wars: A New Hope episode four, and he would go to the part where they're in their um, X wings and they're they're trying to blow up the Death Star. He'll turn the sound completely down and do all the sound for that that sequence. And I thought that's strong. I like that. So I mean, um, I think there's an audience for it. I think he's interested in it. I enjoy doing it. I'm personally um, very awkward at it. <laughs> I personally suck. It's we everything. mentioned she's not even a villain. Cynthia <laughs> <laughs> got one. I'm really door. good at nagging. <laughs> Do you guys any of you watch Shin Chan? Yeah. 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 That's Mitzi. Okay. <laughs> she's kind of a villain. Is that the best? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It's the best. The yeah. character's best. <laughs> yes. Is there any other kind? <laughs> Besides ourselves? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we lack empathy, so we think it's just us. So, like, as a well, you know, as an actor, it's funny because we were talking about this before too. That um, we, of course, record one at a time, so we don't often see the other actors in a particular given show. And really, these cons are so fun because very often we'll have actors in the same show meeting for the first time yeah. uh, on the same panel. So, I mean, you know, um, but... It's really cool. The, the cons give us that opportunity to get together and... and, and have a <laughs> Damn you, Tony. <laughs> it is yes. weird, though, not getting to interact with other actors. Um, that it's one of the only jobs, I think, 
that has that problem. <laughs> yeah, that affliction that we have to go through. My diabetes type two and things. Um, yeah, absolutely. Although, um, but as far as a director goes, see, I feel very lucky because unlike a, vo a voice actor who comes in to record, they only see the director and the engineer and they go home, the director has a full day of nothing but actors coming in. And so, I mean, there are a ton. To, to list them all would be, I mean, it, I mean, gosh, there's just a ton. There, there's so many good ones right now versus how many there were in, say, 98 when DBZ was starting. Uh, I mean, we have a roster at Funimation of at least 300 voice actors. And, I mean, I think there's a ton of really amazing ones. Not just at Funimation, but, of course, um, L.A., New York, and, and uh, Canada. What about them? I've never directed either, but I mean, he's been just awesome, and I've met him, and he was my first like limo ride at the con. The kids bought him a limo. It was so weird. He walked up and he was like, "Would you like to take a ride in a limo?" And I was like, "I would." And I pulled up. I was like, "Are you kidding me? People get me rice balls. People got you a limo." What's up, Crispin Freeman? You're my new best friend. Yeah, it was fun. He's cute, too. <laughs> I think that was the subtext of that. Well, Helsing, as I said, I'm a huge fan of. So, of course, uh, you know, he, he was amazing in that. So, definitely. Yeah, he's, you, he's very talented. You're obviously a big Christmas <laughs> fan. Okay, that was one of the first names that you... Yeah, I'm actually a Jason Price fan. Awkward. Yeah. <laughs> that is weird. <laughs> and it looks like we have time for one, one more. One more question. What was your most memorable line? Memorable line as a villain. Memorable line as a villain. Oh. I miss Merry Christmas. <laughs> Edit. <laughs> Replace. <laughs> that was mine. <laughs> she would have been great. <laughs> <laughs> um, I guess it would be, uh... Can I eat him now? Yeah! You, you can eat him now, you lie. <laughs> and with that, so ends this battle. Thanks, guys! <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.